Okay. Uh, so look, uh, Flickr is a photo sharing site. Okay. Uh, what we can do is we can have an account in Flickr and then we can upload TV photos, Cersei photos, so and so. Okay. So whenever uh, you are trying to you try to upload uh, certain things in uh, Flickr. Okay. Uh, any photo say for example this photo we want to upload okay every photo will be having certain tags and also certain privacy settings with them, okay there are two major privacy settings with uh, Flickr one is a private setting and one is a public setting now when I'm accessing this app uh, the actual Flickr website okay uh, say I can add, add okay. Uh, however, you can see that uh, the getting the privacy settings is quite difficult over here. Okay, uh, you can just add other people and so and so. Now here there is one option. Okay, that's called privacy settings. There are two settings mainly. That is visible to everyone, publicly searchable. Okay, so publicly searchable you can make it hidden. Okay or you can make it searchable visible to everyone only you or everyone okay so these are the major uh, settings now always while adding the photograph we often forget to you know <coughs> put the correct privacy settings there are some photographs which uh, we uh, do not want other people to see uh, there are some photographs which we want uh, which we want to share it to others so the objective of our project is to automate the process of privacy settings for the flicker okay so once we start sharing the photographs the system should remember the system should try to find a pattern what are the type of photographs which are keeping public and which are the type of photographs which we are keeping private and in future whenever we try to upload it should guide us and it should let us know which are the type of photograph we are keeping which is private and which is public okay now let's uh, download some photographs first okay uh, so that we can keep it in Flickr let's say I have some some medical images okay uh, Let's download some medical images and let's uh, let's assume that I want to keep these images for. Uh, let's download the images. Uh, uh, Let's create one folder called photos. Okay. Such that we can have some images stored over here. Let's say Say some nature images, right? So this is my photo album which we want to upload okay so whenever we are starting our project mm -hmm. the project will have an initial screen like this okay now I can go for authentication first the app needs to be authenticated 
so when you say authenticate it is going to open an authentication screen okay we need to say that we'll be authorizing the app it's going to give us a number for authorization let just we need to copy this number and paste it on our form okay once authentication is done we can see it fetches our name rupam das right? now let's assume that i want to upload some photographs so i'll be clicking on the upload form right okay uh let's upload the photographs that we have just downloaded okay let give let us give a medical image photograph this picture is best kept private so immediately as we load the picture it's going to tell us whether this is private or not it's going to extract all the features red green and blue features i have already uh, uh, put some images mm. so based on that it's going to tell whether this is private or not so let's keep some title okay say rupam so uh let's keep some details like private image this is we can upload it right from our form right when we upload this it also gives us an option of remembering the security settings once the image is uploaded we can go to our flickr account we can go to our flickr account and we should be able to see the photographs which is being upload it okay so now here you'll see that uh, recent photos you open the camera roll section we should be able to see the photograph that we have uploaded and if we click it will give us the uh, description it will give us the settings when you look at the privacy settings you can see automatically this is being made as uh, private all right so this photograph is been uploaded now uh, let's just close this form let's upload one more photograph you can see one more extra details as appear let us take one more photograph and let's try to upload this picture is best kept private no i do not want this to be private okay i want this to be public so i'm changing as you can see once you try to upload it is going to try to find the feature vector of this okay nature image let's try it nature image remember my security settings and let's upload it once you have uploaded it and the picture will be immediately available you can see it is with a mark of public this is with a mark of private and the application is also remembering what basically we are trying to do let's close this and let's again try to upload one more picture now Let's go to desktop. Go to photos. Uh, let's try to upload one more. This picture is best kept private. So let's do one thing. Let's again keep it as public. As we keep on accessing, it will keep on remembering the options.
So every time you upload the photo, the photos will be immediately coming over here and you can see these photos have all been public. Okay. Now let's try to Just upload one more photograph. That's uh, this picture is best kept private. Okay, so the uh, feature vector of from the images will be stored in a database, Excel mm -hmm. database. Uh, the red, green, and blue, okay, components. Uh, the mean and standard deviation of red, green, and blue component. Mean of red, mean of green, mean of blue, mean of. Uh, uh, I mean standard deviation of red, standard deviation of green, standard deviation of blue. Similarly mean of red, mean of green, so and so. Okay, so what we shall try to do is, let's run our app once more. Let's try to run our project once more. Uh, first, it's going to ask for the authentication. We are going to go for the authentication again. Let's note down the number. Put the number here. Authenticate. Once successfully authenticated, we'll be going for the upload form. Now, let's try to give an image which we have say for example let's give a this picture is best kept public okay so it shows that this picture should be uh, best kept as public okay now if i try to uh, put any other picture for example if i go for the other medical image, this picture is best kept private okay so it's going to show that this picture should be best kept as private okay yes. so some uh, and x-ray of Rupam we can write Rupam Gulbarga and x-ray something uh, like this and I'll make it remember my options now I'll ask it to update when it updates okay it remembers that value say let's upload the This one was unuploaded. Which images were unuploaded? Green is done. There is. So we have already have this green and this one. Two two images. Uh, let's upload something which is not been done which is this road industry this picture is best kept public so this is best kept as public some road image and if i upload it's going to be uploaded immediately it will come over here all my images will be there those which are public will come as public